Yeah, well, we're just heading out for opening weekend, and the U-bolts that hold my axle to the leaf spring have decided to break. So I guess we're not going fishing. I managed to get my tire off so we can get this thing pulled up onto a flatbed. And you folks all know what B-O-A-T stands for, right? Just to be clear, bust out another thow. Yep, and that's, I just put $600, $800 in this trailer. So at any rate, uh, it's always something when you own a boat. Um, best case scenario, we'll get this thing on a flatbed. Maybe go get my riverboat and rethink my life, <laughs> whether or not I want to go fishing yet today. Yes, it's early. It's early. We can still go. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. Well, now the question is, do we go get boat number two, or are we going to do yard work? <laughs> That's the question. I want to go fishing. Uh, uh, let's see. All right, folks, we got boat number two. Barb wants to go fishing. I kind of want to do yard work. Okay, never mind. Let's go fishing. Well, folks, we've made it to our destination, and we've got the trusty stump jumper boat number two today. It's not going to stop us from fishing. We get this baby loaded up, and actually, <laughs> we got to load up quite a bit of stuff. I don't know how we're going to fit it in this little thing. Well, but, after being in the big boat, we got yeah. to trim down now. Yeah, this one's a little tippier too, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready yet? Yes, I'm ready. Like, We've only been trying to do this for the last six hours, five hours. It's 11.21. We got up at 5.30 <laughs> to okay. get to fish at 11.30. Well, the good news is, folks, we're going fishing now. It's going to happen. I promise. All right, Barbie, you're going to start out with the white dace color death paws minnow. Is that the five and a half? Five and a half. Right. That is correct. It'll be a, it's a little weedy here. We'll wait till we get out a little farther, but let me get my rod rigged and we'll be on our way here. All right, folks, I got brand new Circus Perch Death Paws Minnow. Brand spanking new. For those of you that have not used this bait, you're gonna wanna fish this on a heavy bass rod, not your big musky rod. I've got 50 pound braid on this Corrado here, seven and a half foot flipping stick. And I've got a section of Terminator titanium wire in front of that for a leader. You don't want to use a big giant musky leader with this little bait. Okay, the water is super clear. Look at that. You'll be able to see a musky coming. Long ways away. Hopefully we don't see them, we hook them. Okay, it's opening weekend, folks. It's the opener. It's the opener. We're here on the opener. I'm so excited. I couldn't even sleep last night. Really? No. Not really. Well, we didn't sleep long enough. <laughs> okay. Here we go. There you go. You got a bass. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, fish. First fish of the season. <laughs> there we go. Death Paws Minnow choked. Wow. You really had big aspirations with this lure. This is the one kind of one that would like to put a hook in you. Yeah. Because he's like too green and full of energy now. Okay. There you go. All right. Lip him. Lip him. Yeah, you got to hold your own fish. All right. We better hold him closer to the, my camera lens than that. Mm. There we go. Now he's bigger. All right. Good job, buddy. Excitement. I just said there was no fish in this lake and you proved me wrong. See, so, you just got to complain a little bit. Good job. Oh, look. Musky, big musky. Oh, big one. Oh my God, it's huge. 
Look at that guy. These are swimming. Yeah. Look at this thing. Wow. That's probably 40, 44 incher. He looks neat too. Yeah, he's all from spawning. Dang it, look at that dude. He doesn't even care about our bait. He's just like, oh my gosh, you guys are in my way. I'm trying to swim down the dam. Okay, we have seen a muskie, but it was not looking at our lure. It was swimming away from us. <laughs> you got to see it good though. Yeah, the water is so clear. <clears throat> yeah, that was probably 44 incher. Bunch of spawning scars on it. Okay, the time is 1.15 and we've seen our first muskie and it didn't care that we were even here. So uh, onward and upward here. Back in the day I had quite a few customers catch muskies on uh, whatever, like bucktails or whatever, like They'd get a backlash, you know, and their lure would just be sitting on the bottom. Yeah. And they first get it up off the bottom. Oh, oh my gosh. I come out of nowhere. Ate it. The muskie right there. I just had, oh I'm not even looking, I'm talking. And, <laughs> wow. And I just had a muskie. Okay, well, that's encouraging. That sucks. But what? it's really great too. Oh my gosh, I had it. Nice. I had it, wasn't even looking. I'm talking, telling stories, and and there's a muskie holding on to my blaze orange perch death paws. Wow, that was, that's today. That is how today is going right there. Wow. Did you see that? He was eating it. Folks, I don't know what you saw of that but uh let that be a lesson you look at your lure every cast it comes to the boat i got lazy i'm telling stories there's nothing happening we haven't seen a follow yet and then one eats me right there at boat side i look down the thing it's just in its mouth i pull and just did not i didn't catch it so there you go there's a muskie to be caught apparently and i just blew it Alright, so Barb's got the hot bait on, so I'm going to switch it up, throw a glider. Alright, little bluegill pelagic glide. Try that. Oh, this is the wrong rod. I didn't want this rod. Okay, this is the right rod. I meant to throw this on the 9 foot 2020 surgical strike. Tranks high speed. Of course, these are all telescoping, as all the chaos rods are now. Get my line wet, check my drag. I'm ready for action. Been ready all day, except for that one cast. Was not, I thought I had her, thought I had the same one. Here we go, I got one coming. You yep. do? Nice one, look at her, oh my gosh. Look at that thing. What are you... Oh, you're just going to coast away? Come on. Oh, 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 she's hanging. She's hanging. Come on. You were such a nice 40-inch muskie. Where, where'd you go? Where are you? Dang it. Well, I guess I got to just keep changing lures because I put that blaze orange death paws on and lost one, and then I just had... Nice 40 incher come in on the on the glider, but it did not bite. Well, it's at least a musky. And look on the graph here. Look, there's some bait down here, 12 feet, a couple feet off the bottom. 
I don't know, some activity, I'll take it. They do exist. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. You are a muskie, and you are being a muskie. Wow. Look, he's tasting the water around it. His mouth opens a little bit. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. It's still there. Yeah. Stupid muskies, why? There's no other fish, fresh or salt, that will do something that stupid or smart. And it was right off that same stupid snag where last year I raised about a 46 right there just come lazily swimming out oh what's that thing going side to side that's a funny looking bluegill I'm not gonna bite that either okay we got some action at least they bite the death paws they follow the glider that's actually somewhat common Dang it. All right, well, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Well, folks, the 320 update is we are muskie fishing. We have seen muskies. I almost caught a muskie, but we have no muskies. Not in the boat. When are you going to get some action? <laughs> I have no idea. What is it going to take for you to get a muskie to eat your lure? I guess the right conditions with the right lure and the right water. I don't know. It's like mystery. I don't have the recipe yet. It's always a mystery out here, folks. But we have persevered through kind of an obnoxious start to a day. Um, yeah, like I said, maybe I didn't say. It's about 325 or so. Sunset's probably about, I don't know, eight bells now? Around eight, yeah. So we got a little ways to go yet. We can still have a banger day. You oh, never yeah, know. Oh, yeah, totally. It's just really calm right now, so... Maybe we need to have a snack. Another snack. <laughs> and we'll go back on those fish we saw earlier. That's the plan. <laughs> Folks, as we enter the final hour of opening day of musky fishing, uh, it's been really quiet since the last couple follows. I'm tired. Yeah. I want to catch a muskie. We got the final hour. We're going to uh, kind of work our way back towards the boat launch. It's trolling motor only here, so we don't, there's no rip roaring around the place. So we will uh, go try our luck closer to the launch. Maybe we could get a flat tail bite. What do you think? Something would be nice. We've seen enough of them. We know they're here and they're big. There are muskies and the majority of today, three of the four action we've had, whatever, have been over 40 inches. So we'll see what's up. Well, folks, I guess we're going to go down swinging. We have had zero action this evening and that's kind of the way it goes uh, early spring like this I often struggle that last hour of the day I think they like that Sun the heating of the water the water starts to dip down and get colder now so that's kind of a bummer but we're gonna go down swinging with action from four muskies I should have caught one did not but uh, I don't know, that's opening day. That's what we got. Um, got to get my other boat fixed so I can go fish some more bigger water. But uh, at least we had a little bit of action. Definitely not the easiest lake. These fish uh, seen a lot of pressure out here. So they've been caught many, many times. So uh, we're gonna go get the boat on the trailer, get some food in our bellies, and we will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.